And then the smoke got me. I got bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. Hello, everyone. So today I received this thing in the mail. It is a 2080, RTX 2080 golden sample but customer is saying that the card once it warms up it turns off um, it doesn't show any display so it keeps crashing basically um, and going by the looks of those thermal pads there I can probably guess what's going on here but let's not jump to conclusions all right Let's go ahead and take this thing apart and see what we can do. Okay, but um, as usual, we need to check uh, the obvious things. So let's start by checking the things that we can check um, from outside before starting to remove uh, everything or taking the card apart. So no shorts here, no shorts there. We do have a fuse here. Let's check that fuse. Fuse is good. Uh, there's nothing else that I can check from here other than, all right, let's check the data line. So we're gonna reverse our leads here. I hope you can see it from there. Yeah, okay, that's good. All right, so uh, 12 volts. Kilo ohms, that's good. 3.3, looking good. Data lines, looking good. All right, let's check our PECs and our reference clock, clocks plus or minus. Yep, PECs looks good. Oops, went over a bit too far. And that looks good. Okay. So I think it's safe, from what I can tell, to uh, plug the card in and see if uh, we can figure out what's going on with this thing. Okay, so the card is in the system. We are getting a boot signal. Okay, and I, I just ran uh, Furmark, and I cannot get this thing to crash. So maybe it'll crash during the benchmark here with a 3D mark. We'll see. Okay. Yep, that made it crash. All right, folks. So let's go ahead and run NVMT. Uh, maybe we get some... Uh, I don't know, some answers here, some type of answers at least. Oops. All right, let's look at the uh, port let's see what we got here okay Nothing obvious so far. Nope. But that's one thing about MVMT. Um, sometimes it acts stupid and it doesn't really tell you much about training or, you know, what it's supposed to tell you. So uh, let's go ahead and run Mats and see if Mats got some answers for us. For us. For us, for us. Maybe Matt's got some answers. We'll see. 
Uh, yep, I think I already see the problem. Or, I don't see the problem, but I think I might get some answers here. Don't think this is going to pass. I don't know if you guys caught that there. Yep. Okay, so we got memory issues. Okay, so according to Matt's, we have an issue with C1. So let's take this thing apart, replace this chip, and hopefully that fixes, fixes our issue. All right, so you guys are up there chilling. That's good. Um, and it does look like this card has had a rough pass because the, the screws here are almost stripped almost stripped so I'm, I'm i'm having to push like down you know what i mean so i can get a good grip so the screwdriver can get a grip on the the threat or whatever the heck you want to call that the screws it looks like someone has already been here before me i don't know if you can tell that right there that's solder now that's not going to cause the problems that we're seeing i just wanted to point point that out Oh no. No, 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 no. Stacking thermal pads. That is not good. You shouldn't do that. I'm going to have to replace this pads as well. Here there's double stack too. Yeah, this is a controller. You're not supposed to do that. And um, double stack on the memory, which would could probably well, it was actually this. Let's see, how does this go? Yeah, so it's here, but I don't think this would be the problem. Um, <clears throat> however, <clears throat> I just saw something that caught my attention, uh, and this might be bad news for the customer. Uh, oh man, I'm not sure that I'm, yeah, I don't think I want to use these thermal pads again. Maybe on the, um, uh, even on the, yeah, polymer capacitors. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's just clean this up. Okay, so we said C1, so, oh man. A1, A0, B1, B0, C1. So we put the mark of death here. There we go. <clears throat> this is what I was uh, what I was saying. Like I just noticed something bad about this. Sadly, uh, our customer got a bad deal here. This is Micron twenty eighteen memory. Which means that by the way, this memory is defective from a uh, manufacturer, so this means that all these chips would eventually need to be replaced. Um, I'm going to inform the customer about the what I found, and then I'll get back to you guys. Okay, so I have informed the customer about this chip and about, about all the chips needing to be replaced because they're Micron 2018. He just wants this, he only wants the chip that is bad to be replaced, so that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. Alright, let's get started with the uh, removal process. And I have to cover the other chips because uh, at this point, uh, the heat can make the other chips go bad. You know, as soon as I replace this one, uh, this much heat will cause the neighboring chips to go bad because they are already on their last legs so it's uh it's important to cover the other chips neighboring chips if you don't you're gonna be in a world of pain and i'm not in this business for pain all right that was a success now we got to turn the heat down because 
our new chip does not require that much heat. Now we gotta clean these pads, get rid of that old solder. For that I will need my little microscope. Right there I think we'll do. And I'm picking up the uh, lead free solder because all my reball all my reball chips have lead solder. And the reason why um, I like to use leaded or uh, yeah, leaded solder is because uh, it's lower melting point, and leaded solder is more forgiving to uh, um, to vibrations. You know, uh, it's 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 lead-free solder is not. Let's just say it's not the greatest when it comes to ball grid array work um, or BGA. You know. Uh, so right now I'm adding uh, leaded solder to the pads and then now we're going to come with our copper wick and we're going to uh, remove as much of that solder, the old solder that is mixed with the uh, leaded solder. The lead, mixing it with leaded solder just makes it easy to pick up or easier to pick up. And here you don't want to press down too much, you just got to all you're doing is just giving enough pressure to uh, allow for the wick to glide over the pads. You don't want to press down because then you you could scratch the um, the pads and also the um, the black surface that you see there. If you know you, you don't want to do that um, for obvious reasons, I think because that would uh, expose the under under layers and as soon as you start putting your new chip and that lead starts to melt or that solder starts to melt you're gonna be in the world of trouble so yeah that's why you don't do that that looks good and going by the um, let me just show you guys what I what I'm seeing so going by the looks here let's go down a little bit lower here and it looks like all the pads are in good shape there is no uh, cold solder joints or anything like that uh, no ripped pads of any kind so yep this is good all right let's put our new tip on here and that's going to be uh, yep one of these and we are going to be using a 2019 chip I don't know if you guys can catch that there Starts with the number nine up at the top. That's the year. Put a little bit of flux, not too much. Okay, all right, there we go. Let's go ahead and apply air. Now the, my air at this point is at 375. That's just what works for me. You could lower it to uh, say 350, 320, but no. I stick to 375. Okay, that ought to do it. Let's go ahead and uh, turn this off. Wait for the board to cool down. Alright, fellas. So, I have put the card back together. Um, I ran a couple of uh, stress tests and everything looked okay. I left it running for about 15 minutes and the card shut down. I restarted it ran mats again and it showed that the uh, chip uh, what is it c0 is now failed um <sighs> and i'm sure it is because of the heat uh, i already let the customer know um so he's aware that um yeah the whole situation and now after the memory test i restarted the system and now i get this Yay! <laughs> Yay! Nothing. Ah, man, all that time wasted. I hate Micron 18. Um, yeah. So, the only solution will be to replace all these chips. Otherwise, this card is just a brick. Uh, this makes me really sad. It really does.